what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is asas pixel studio it's another retouching tutorial so this video is going to be about frequency separation and frequency separation has to do with separating the texture and the color or which is known as tune so that you can work on them independently your image so let's get started for you to do frequency separation you just have to make sure your layer is rasterized and after that you're just going to duplicate the layer twice you can duplicate it once but I just want to do it so that we have a reference for before and after. So this first one, the one below, name it tune, hit enter, or you can name it color, and name this one texture, and hit enter. So this is going to take the texture, and this below is going to take the color, okay, or the tune, which is known as the tune. Now select the texture, turn it off, select the tune, and go to filter, go to blur, and go to Gaussian blur. Okay, so now you need to know the, let me take it back. You need to know the blur value you need to use. The more you blur, the more the texture. So if I take the blur up, you have more texture. And if I take the blur value down, you have less texture. So you need to focus where the texture is. For this, I'm gonna focus more on, uh, let's say this end, and we can see. So let's take the blur value up and we are going to take it up so somewhere like this and i'm going to select somewhere here and you can see that we need to still take it up a little bit to where we find it so this should be fine 4.6 why is 4.6 fine because when you are blending with your color mixer brush it's not going to make the image flat so that's why we're taking it up and you can see the difference just consider places like this before you you know set your blur value it's okay on the keyboard and the blur value is set now turn the texture layer on and go to image apply image now for this one you are you need to take this settings for the layer you're going to select on the drop down select the tone and under the blending remove it from multiply and select subtract so you've ended up subtracting the texture from the image them okay so for 8 bit image you can see this place right there where i hover my mouse you can see it so you have 8 bit image this is the settings you take the scale to offset 128 and it's okay now that's not the end you need to change the blending mode to linear light and there we go i'm going to group the two together and name it frequency separation frequency separation it's enter now this is what you need to do for the tune you need to use the brush the mixer tool brush and the texture you need to use the clone stamp tool okay so this is the settings select the tune the tune layer go to the mixer tool brush and takes this setting above the wet 9 load 75 mix 90 flow 100. now you can leave your wet between 9 and 14 and make sure you maintain a clean brush which is this one if this is selected whenever you paint it's going to paint on the color that is showing there so turn it off and select the clean brush okay and then make your brush hardness soft so once you do that you can now you know blend your colors together so i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to show you how to blend image so first of all let's blend the face let's take it up and blend the face so it's just simple just left click and keep blending and make sure they are the same so something like this and i'm just going to quickly blend don't blend like this blend according to the contour of our face to avoid um, flatten the image all right so i just finished blending the skin tones and we can see uh before and after and now i'm going to work on the texture so select the clone stamp tool and i'm going to remove some of the blemishes so for you to use the clone stamp tool you need to sample an area for this is a good area to sample you sample somewhere here and then you come ahead and cover the blemishes so sample somewhere close with holding down hot and then sample and then cover left click let's click so i'm just going to do that for all the scars
All right, so I'm done with the frequency separation and you can see before and after, before and after. You can as well go ahead and blow more. So what you just select the tune and then select the lazier tool and for places you want to blow, you just need to draw like this and draw and then go ahead to filter, blow, cushion blow and just keep blowing the places. All right, so we have before and then after, before and then after. So that's how to do the frequency separation and get the best out of your image. And from then you can do your dodging and burning. So for you to do dodging and burning, that's another video for another day. Okay, guys, see you in the next tutorial. Once again, this is ASAS Pixels 2.0.